Kings on the Seven Sport. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the third day of the second cricket test from St George's Park in Port Elizabeth. And what an absolutely intriguing day it is in South Africa. We'll show you highlights for the first and second sessions, and then all of the final session of the day's play. But let's just recap firstly where Australia went wrong yesterday, all out for 108, and not a great deal of uh, high quality batting there yesterday. Matthew Elliott, the highest of the scorers, run out for 23. But it was the South African bowlers who did all the damage. Alan Donald, especially, only one for 18. But look at that, 23 overs and 13 maidens. McMillan as well was uh, was quite superb. Well, two for 32 off uh, 14. Then South Africa at stunts last night had made a very handy start. Gary Kirsten and Adam Backer had taken them to 83 without loss. And so we came to day three today. Terry Alderman joins me again. And Terry, uh, there had been some talk about the pitch overnight and today our time. You might like the background that. Well, yes. Well, it was talk that the pitch had been doctored before, David, even before the game started. And then we had an opportunity this evening to actually ring Port Elizabeth, and I actually spoke to uh, Andrew McLean, the groundsman there. Okay, and the suggestion was that he hadn't put any hessian on? No, hessian to protect the pitch. That's right, and uh, I also asked him about doctoring the wicket first up, and he said no. Uh, he said that they needed to keep some extra grass on there, and the fact that uh, the hessian, he's never put hessian on. But uh, Jeff Hammond, the uh, former South, South Australian, Australian, yes, he is now the coach there of uh, Eastern Province, and he's suggesting that he puts the Hessian down. So he has it there available, but he hasn't used it. But no, they thought that they used it in Johannesburg. Right. Well, he says no, we say maybe. Uh, the South Africans yesterday battered on the same pitch on which Australia collapsed. Today the job was with the Australian bowlers, without Steve Waugh, who we've been told will not bowl again in this test because of the groin. Yes, well, they've really gone to start today at none for 184. That's what the South Africans are going in there for. So. So, uh, Australia really have to get some inroads in today, and they don't, they've got a second chance. They bowled poorly yesterday, but they get a second chance this morning. Well, still three days remaining in this test. Uh, anything could happen. It did. You'll see those uh, highlights in just a moment. Conditions today, high 20s, the chance of a thundery shower in the afternoon. No great sign of it from what we have seen. Let's take you direct now to uh, Port Elizabeth for the highlights from the first session of today's play. 